Now I applied power 12 volts but it is not turning on. I will apply power to the remote pin and it will turn on. Yes, it is powered on now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this audio power amplifier. It is not working. It takes 12 volt from car battery, receives audio signal here, then it amplifies that signal to drive high power speakers. Basically this circuit have some boost converter here. It provides voltage to these capacitors and then we have IGBTs here which will drive the power circuit. Let's apply power and check it. I applied ground here 12 volt and here the remote signal. Here we have capacitors inside these capacitors. Now we will check voltage at these capacitors. These are after the converter. No voltage, no voltage. It is using TL494IC in push-pull drive. Here we have two MOSFETs here. Let's check voltage on the PCB. DC voltage. Positive voltage are supplied here and ground voltage here 12 volt, 12 volt. If we check the drive signal, frequency and hertz at gate there is no drive, 0 hertz and here 0 hertz. So no frequency. That means this TL494 it is not switching. First of all we have to check ground pin number 7. We will check voltage at pin number 14 reference voltage. Pin number 14. Pin number 14 have 0 volt. And then we can check the VCC voltage here. VCC is pin number 12. No voltage here. So these voltage are reaching from here. Pin number 12, no VCC. It must have VCC voltage. Pin number 7. 7 have ground. Ground is supplied. If we see here, here we have some breakage. This resistance. We have some breakage here. That is power resistance. I will connect it here. Because this track is damaged. Now I connected this resistor and now I will apply power. Ground. No supply. 400 millivolts so no power. Now I will open this board. Converter board and we will check where is the problem. For that we need to remove these screws from the front panel. Here. And we will remove this connection. That is audio input to the board. I will remove these four screws, two screws here, one screw here for the MOSFET. I removed it. Now this is the audio input board. We have no concern with this one. Now I will connect power here. Now I applied power. VCC here. It must have VCC. Now if we trace the power. Ground. And here is input capacitor. We will find the voltage here at input capacitor that is here DC capacitor here and then these voltage are reaching here to this jumper okay and then these voltage are reaching to this transistor 
from this capacitor through this jumper here I think we will check this transistor Two and three four zero one. This transistor is damaged. Two and three four zero one. It is PNP transistor. It is just only working as a switch. Open, 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 open. Now I will make a jumper to test the other remaining circuit. Now first I will make a bypass to this remote switch. Then we will replace the transistor because this transistor is damaged. So I will make a jumper between collector to emitter. Yes, it is powered on. First for trial purpose I remove this transistor. Now we will check the voltage on the DC rail that is here this capacitor and this capacitor. It is 29.5 and minus 29.5 30 volt 30 volt and this 30 volt and 30 volt are present here where is the common line common is 29 volt minus 29 so plus minus 29 volt are here We can check the output. So that means our circuit is working. Just only I have to replace this transistor because it is a switch which works on this remote remote command. Now this remote command is not working. It is powered up. The power is applied, and it is powered on directly by this jumper. Now, if we check supply voltage, we have 12 volt at pin number. Pin number 12 must have 12 volt. Pin number 12 is here. Now it is produ producing 4.9 volts. That's good. When this 4.9 volt are available at that time, TL494 will work. Now I have this 2N2907 transistor. So I am using this 2N2907. It is very common transistor. 
in PNP identification tab that is the emitter center pin base and this one collector diode mod black lead to the center pin base emitter collector now I will place here so that the positive voltage will reach to the emitter collector is output it will connect it to pin number 12 emitter will remain at the positive supply because it is PNP transistor so positive voltage are reaching here here is emitter base and collector let's connect it emitter base and collector yes now we will solder it after soldering we will see the result now I will connect this collector pin to the resistor and resistor will reach to the pin number 12 of this IC and then we will make a final check and as we tested without this transistor it is working and with transistor now we will check it it must work it's okay now Good, sir. now I collected this transistor let's check it now I applied power 12 volt but it is not turning on I will apply power to the remote pin and it will turn on yes it is powered on now remove remote switch it is turned off so our remote switch circuit is now working so this was the reason when we started when we applied power in the startup it was not working now negative voltage and positive voltage let's pack it up I installed the connector here now we will place it here in the MOSFETs now I installed it here and I will make connections for this audio input I placed this cover here and place the LED in its proper place and then we will install this cover here and the LED must remain outside now I applied power I connected speaker now this audio amplifier is ready now now this amplifier has been repaired successfully audio amplifier is working properly the problem that the converter 30 plus plus minus 30 volt converter was unserviceable it was not working we repaired it so that the remote arm switch was not working now it is working properly I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh